Friday the 13th, rapid updates. What's happening in Iraq right now is a major protest. I'm gonna show you actual video of that. And here is a quick article that came out on the real reason for the dollar's rise and the central bank is failing about it. These are what experts are saying. I'm looking on a different computer so I can't share it, but it comes out of Baghdad Today News. The Central Bank of Iraq is failing to solve the problem of remittance with Iran. The rise of the exchange rate is related to pressures on foreign exchange in the market and the continuation of the black remittance. Up to $30 million a day crosses the border. Black transfers to feed remittance requests for trade with Iran, Syria, Lebanon, and Turkey as well. And the fluctuation will continue unless the remittance crisis with Iran is resolved in the first place. And a suitable transfer mechanism is found for merchants, even they, even if they are in other currencies and other than the dollar. What have we been doing all summer? I thought these mechanisms were put into place. What is actually the problem? I really don't know. We can speculate. We can speculate all day long. But obviously, it's a big problem because yesterday, the rate that I shared with my Telegram viewers was 1615, I believe. So it's going in the wrong direction. Although I do understand this takes time. This takes time. You got to go through all this struggle and challenges in order for greatness to come out of it. Experts point out that some of these cash sales allocated to travelers leak into the black market and are purchased by merchants to finance their trade with countries banned from the dollar, led by Iran, which Iraq's annual import volume amounts to approximately $10 billion. Others warn that the repercussions of some banks not handling over dollars to travelers while stressing that the continuation of the matter will lead to the increase of demand of the dollar in the parallel market and thus increase in the exchange rate. Until they get this under control, they're go it's going to be a problem. They're leaking. There's corruption in the banking systems that are s making up transfers to travelers. They're not traveling and it's getting across the border smuggled to Iran, Syria. And with the chaos happening with Israel in Palestine, I mean, it's anybody's guess right now how this is all going to take place and what the United States may do in the future and slap heavy sanctions on the central bank if, if they can't get under control. Well, you're hearing about it. You're seeing it. You know what's going on. It's, um, it's a tough topic to even speak about, you know. So uh, hopefully cool heads can prevail here. So let's get on and show you what's happening in Baghdad on the protest against Israel. Chatting with buddy in Baghdad, he sent me this video. I said, what is going on in Baghdad? I'm not seeing anything at the moment. And by the way, I just got a notification that Israel forces entered Gaza for localized raids right now. Buddy in Baghdad said there are a lot of protests and movements, mostly from Shiite factions, al Seder, and others. All right, here it is. Look at the crowd. I mean, it's to be expected. Will this intensify? Will there be more around the world? Obviously, I, I assume so because... Hey, leave a comment below. Everybody stay safe. Stay rapid.